Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the show that shows you exactly how not to show your show. Today, today, today we're going to be talking about a classic Hall of Fame amazing knife that you all know very well. This is the Spyderco Endura 4. And before anybody freaks out, yes, it's wearing a wave. Also, I'm wearing gloves today. Why? Because I'm cooler than you. No. Uh, I have paint on my hands. Working on the shop. Uh, check out Dragon Scale Concealment sometime. Thank you to everybody that's buying, uh, been buying holsters and cheese off me lately. Really appreciate that. It's a new company and we're having a lot of fun with it. Check this out. So here's a um, here's a sheath I made for the uh, K Bar Turok. Uh, you guys saw my review on this knife. You know I really like it, and I've kept it in my collection. I think it's a really good, um, just I don't know, it's just a really good knife. Anyway. Here's a, a sheath I made in OD green and uh, tan, light tan. And this is wearing the uh, combat loop. And I want to show you guys that I'm switching to these. These are, um, it's the same spacing as a tech lock, only much, much easier to take this off and on than a tech lock. So from now on, I'll be outfitting my OWB holsters and my sheaths with a combat loop. So there you go. Also, I've been... Um, a lot of the uh, the black eyelets are just painted, and that paint comes off almost instantly, so you're just basically left with this brass coloration. So lately I've been sanding them off for this kind of nice look. Let me know when you order your sheath if you'd like that. Retention, there's the knife. Probably do a um, re revisiting of this knife. Sorry, it's wearing a lot of oil. And there's the retention, no rattle. I mean, this is such an awesome sheath. The sheaths are coming out great. The holsters are even better. Um, so thank you guys for checking out Dragon Scale Concealment sometime. Also, a quick update on our giveaway as, guys, it's we're talking about the Endura 4, you know, in this video. There's not a lot to talk about. It's a throwaway video. Go buy it, okay? So, spoiler, go buy it. It's great. We'll talk about it in a second. Uh, here's our giveaway. Here's the Koban or Kuban or... I love how people try to... Teach me how to pronounce things. You guys know if you've been watching the channel for a while by now. Um, I I don't. <laughs> I don't learn. So it's fine. Uh, but this giveaway, we're going to be picking the winner from uh, all your comments are hilarious. I asked you to leave your most embarrassing, just an embarrassing story about you. That's all I wanted. I wanted to feel better about my own life. And I do. Wow. You guys have been through a lot of stupid stuff. And it's really funny. And I, I laughed at a few of them. So, good job. I will read those comments next week when I announce the winner. I'm going to leave a comment under your comment. And you have 24 hours to answer. If not, I'm moving on to the next person. I'm going to get a confirmation before I announce the name. That last one was a debacle. We couldn't get a hold of the guy for like a week. Uh, so, we just moved on. And then he, he popped up saying, oh, wow, I finally won something. And <laughs> So, to make everything clear, it, I'm going to comment under your comment. So, check the video. Sunday, I'll be picking the first person. And then if they don't answer in 24 hours, I'm going to delete that comment and then I'll move on to the next one until someone answers me. And then you will be the recipient of the Cold Steel 5-inch Kobun. Okay, so there's that. Uh, what else did I want to show? Oh, Dragon Scale Concealment. There's the, uh, there's the logo. There's the business card. Looks a little Mortal Kombat-y. I'm pretty proud of that, though. I like it. Cool company. Cool logo. Endura 4. Okay. What do you need to know about the Endura 4? You need to know that it's about 3. Point, was it 4 ounces? 3.6 ounces. This is uh, in a Zome coloration, they call it. Whatever that means. It really caught my eye. I bought this knife from the Spider Co. factory in Golden. And I was really disappointed when I went there. I got to be honest. I moved to Golden from Florida. And one of the reasons that I was so excited to move to Golden was um, Spider Co. has a factory there. As soon as I realized that, I went. I said, "Wow!" As soon as I land, that's it's one of the first stops. And being a huge Spyderco fan, I, I I was there front and center. Couldn't wait. Showroom was cool. Everything else, and um, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the people working that day. I'm not really sure. But everybody seemed to be in a pretty cranky mood, and I did not have the exp you know in my head I was going to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory as as a grown male who had spent most of his life in, in some type of security or outdoors activity. I couldn't wait. Who'd been carrying these things forever. And then I get there and everybody's kind of pouty and weird. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I went to pick this up and it was way more expensive than it would, would be online. 
So I asked the lady working, like, why is why are the prices? I only bought this because I panicked and everybody's kind of rude. So I was just like, all right, well, I'm just going to get an Endura and get out of here because I was actually, uh, I had a gap. I've owned an Endura maybe eight times in my life. All different flavors and models. You can check them out. This one with the Zomay. Zomay. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Zomay. Zombie. Zombie. Green. Whatever. This one's $91 at Knife Center. Uh, currently, price is subject to change. We're talking about a three and three quarter inch blade. Uh, this one is wearing my wave. And before I get any crap on the waves, oh, waves are stupid. The one hand convenience of this has come in handy so much. Um, also, the spider, spidey hole on the Enduras is a little smaller than on like my Manix 2, let's say. So spidey flicking with the Endura is a little weird. Um, so I was never big on it anyway. And this just essentially gives you basically a thumb stud now, which I don't mind at all. But more importantly, when it's in the pocket, this thing just flies open. Okay. So I love the wave on certain knives. On certain knives, I, I can't stand the wave. So I'm with you guys when you complain and cry and moan and weep about how waves are the worst thing that's ever happened to you. But, 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 but I dig them. I think they're cool. There, there's a lot of cool things about a wave, you know. But anyway, so there's the wear on it. I've had this for a while. Again, got it at the Golden Factory uh, some years ago. And there's the wear in the pocket clip, which I don't mind at all. It's fine, man. This is a really good knife. It's a three and three quarter inch blade, as I started saying. So check the uh, laws in your area. Uh, where I'm at in Colorado, this is just fine. So I carry this. But more importantly, it's really thin. And I find myself, I love my Manix 2, the G10. But you guys know that's a little bit heavier. A little bit heavier than a Ujimbo if you saw the versus battle. Oftentimes, I find myself reaching for this before I leave the house. If, I, if I'm just, sometimes I think about weight. I don't want to be weighted down. It's a nice summery day. Uh, sometimes I'll take this out. I don't like small blades. I, everybody says, why don't you carry a Delica? I don't know. Maybe I'm too insecure. Maybe I need, I, I own a Delica. I use it every day uh, in the shop to uh, deburr the holes in the eyelets and stuff for the Kydex. But as far as carrying a Delica, I don't, I don't know. That feels, it's a little weird. And then everybody says, well, why don't you just carry your, your Tinker, your uh, Victoria Knox Tinker? You can cut everything with that because it has no clip on it. It rattles around in my pocket. I do carry it in the small pocket. It's just a pain to get out quickly. Oftentimes, I'm just opening a package or something. This is really cool. Out of the pocket, cut a piece of string. Yep. Back in. So functionality, the way you've covered. Uh, as far as the steel, this is VG10 steel. It's nothing to sneeze at uh, as far as it takes a really good edge, uh, but it's not great as far as it doesn't hold it very long. Um, not bad, though. I've never had any problems. and again. You can see some scratches and stuff on the blade. Let's see if I can figure out this new. Some scratching. I really love that satin look that, that Spyderco gets on a lot of these uh, VG10 blades. Looks really nice. Um, your lock in the back is great. This is, um, you know, some people don't like it because it's a two-handed lock. Sometimes it's a one-handed lock too. Okay, so it's just fine. I, I put a little bit of lanyard on this, uh, mainly because I like the color scheme. But also, I don't, I don't think it's really needed. I don't think you need a lanyard for this. So uh, I put one on, take one off. Uh, you know, I can never decide if it needs it or not. It's like the waves. I take them off and put them on. So anyway, Spyderco Endura. We went a little long, but I, this is a great, 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 great knife. Uh, it's just kind of a grab it and use it forever knife. Um, it, under $100, it, it's a no-brainer. Totally go buy it. That's why they keep selling them after all these years. People just love these knives. I'm one of them. Big fan. A uh, little bummed out when I went to Spyderco, but it doesn't mean I, I hate the brand or anything. It just means that whoever was working that day was having a bad day. That's all. So, And their prices are a little more at the factories, just so you know, or at least in my experience. Um, other than that, this is a total buy. The giveaway will be announced next week. I'm really happy with you guys for subscribing and hanging out. These are strong suit gloves. I forget the um, the rest of it, but Look for strong suit. I always get asked. I don't know. I'm really happy with the channel. I'm happy with you guys. However, knife reviewers are getting demonetized. Now, I am not monetized because it's a new channel, but we're on our way and we're going to be soon. And I just don't think it's going to last. So let me know in the comments if you want me to start showing guns and stuff like that, because if I'm not going to get monetized, then I'm just doing this for fun, which is fine. Uh, and I am, but I was looking forward to a little extra pop. I, it's not much money in the beginning for sure, but I, I was excited about it. It was like a goal. 
uh, now that people are being demonetized for all sorts of weird, I can't even keep up with it. We probably won't be. If they're getting demonetized, then I'm sure I won't be or I will be demonetized. So that being said, support uh, 5 Minute Knives on Instagram. Go ahead and give me a follow over there. I do show guns there. And, um, you know, maybe maybe pick up, think about a fixed blade that you love. That's that's great. Um, I'm looking at the BK series, something that's like a great knife that comes with a crappy sheath. You know, this K-Bar Tura comes with a decent sheath. It's just this is next level. It's just next level. It's it's just a better sheath. It's not because I made it. It's because it's true. Okay. What did Muhammad Ali say? It ain't bragging if it's true. That's an awesome, awesome, awesome sheath. I hope the colors are coming up true in my viewfinder. They are not. They look really, this OD green looks awesome in real life. So anyway, if you want to support, go ahead and pick up a sheath or a holster. Um, if I don't have your knife in stock, you can go ahead and ship me your knife. You just, you pay shipping. And then we'll deal with it. Maybe I'll work out a deal. Uh, just, you know, cut some some of the price off. And then as far as the holsters are concerned, if it's it, I need the blue gun, um, request the model. Send an email to dragonscalejoe at gmail.com. And go ahead and let me know what you're thinking about making. Um, my stuff's coming out real slick. Check out the Instagram page. You'll see all my, my Kydex on there. Check out Dragon Scale Concealment on Instagram. Uh, my lady runs that page. So, um, and that's about it, guys. Uh, I'll announce the winner next week. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Pretty cool. But this monetization thing is kind of cool because if I don't care about it anymore, I'm completely untethered. Then I don't care what happens to the channel. I'll make videos. I'm, I'm sticking to a weekly thing. We almost forgot this week, to be honest. I'm so busy with everything else in the shop. But I don't know. I kind of I don't care. And I think it's nice. It's, it's, it's a little bit freeing not to care. We'll see what happens at 1,000 subs. But I kind of don't care. So. Just so you guys know that have been tuning into the channel, hanging out. I don't know why you're hanging out watching this channel. It's a weird channel. But if you enjoy it, good for you. I, I do enjoy hanging out with you guys and meeting new people and uh, reviewing gear, of course. You know, just know that I, I, I'm not bought and paid for by anybody. If I don't like something, you know, even to my own detriment, uh, I'll say it. And so it just so happens I mainly review stuff I like because I'm inspired to review it. Also, I'm going to be reviewing um, knife sharpeners pretty soon. That'll mix up the channel nice. So anyway, Endura 4, you guys got to go pick up this knife. Very lively in the hand. Very light knife. Awesome knife. And uh, I think you're going to be very happy if you pick it up, especially if you're just starting out. This is a great knife. This is the one that gets a lot of people hooked on uh, knife collecting and you know, gets them into the community is that the Endura 4. It's just this classic design. It's not too, too expensive, but it's not cheap, you know, worth every penny. Go pick it up. Anyway, rant over and I'll announce the winner of the giveaway next week. And we'll see you then on 5-Minute Knives.